Okay, so we have piecing threads and we have quilting threads. What's the difference between these? Are they interchangeable? Could you use quilting threads for piecing? Can you use piecing threads for quilting? What's the difference? There's too much going on. I'm very confused. Is that how you're feeling? I have got you covered. I am Kim. This is Quilt with Kim. You're very welcome. Let's go take a look. Okay, first up then, we have got uh, piecing threads. Now, a piecing thread is 100% cotton. I covered that in another video. 100% cotton and it is a 50 weight thread. So you will see that it's normally on the stands when you buy it and you will see it as 50 WT, 50 weight. That means it's your standard regular size for stitching, okay? You'll find it on the polyester stands as well. So Gutterman polyester 50 weight thread will say sew all, S-E-W, sew all, okay? But for um, piecing, we need cotton thread. So these two are a 50 weight standard thread for piecing. So that is our medium size cotton. So if I show you up to camera, you can see this is a Mettler and this is Gutterman. Both brands are as good as each other. There are other brands as well. I haven't got time to go into all the brands. And I think it would be a bit boring if I went through every single brand. But just know that the 50 weight thread is the standard stitching things together thread. That's the one that you need. If you're sewing clothes, by the way, so if you're completely new to sewing and you're sewing clothes or you want to do a bit of dressmaking or bag making or whatever, you still need a 50 weight thread. You just need polyester. So 50 weight thread. Now, when we get to quilting, so this is your piecing. When we get to quilting, we drop our thread weight. So this is a Gutterman Sulky, uh, S-U-L-K-Y, that doesn't matter. It's a quilting 30 weight thread. Can you see, if I hold the two up together, sorry, I'm putting all the threads down. Can you see as I hold them right up close to the camera, the green one at about halfway in your screen is much thicker than the blue thread there, okay? So with your threads, the lower the number, the thicker it is. So the green thread here is a, is a, a quilting weight. It is 30 weight thread. So if we found a 20 weight thread, that would be even thicker. A 40 weight thread, which you'll find very commonly around, is, bet <laughs> is between the, the, 50, uh, the 50 weight here and the, the 30 weight there. All right. Now, the reason why it's thicker is because when we are quilting, we want these stitches to show up on the, on the top of our quilt. You can absolutely use your 50 weight threads for quilting if you want to there's no problem in that at all and in fact if you decide that you want to quilt with metallic or rayon threads you will find that they come out a lot thinner they're, they're the shiny ones add a bit of glitz and glamour to your quilts so the, those uh, those come out a lot thinner but when you're starting out, let's start with a nice, easy thread. So go for the thicker threads, okay? So you're 30 or 40 weight. If we look on the side here, we can see it says cotton 30. So that gives you an indication that that is a thick thread. Now, that will also give you an indication that if the, the number on the side here is lower than 50, what I don't want you to do is start piecing with it or sewing anything together with it. There's a couple of reasons for that. When you're piecing in patchwork, we need lots of accuracy. The, the measurements of any size quilt are based on everything make it working together, all the pieces you're cutting accurately, you need to sew your accurate quarter inch and they all need to fit together. But the thread takes up room. Honestly, it does. So your 50 weight thread, your quilt has been designed to take into account your, your 50 weight thread. This kind of disappears 
um, in a, a seam when you're stitching that. But if you can imagine if you're sewing all your seams in a quilt together with a thicker thread, it's going to take up more room, isn't it? So we're not going to do piecing with that. But as a rule anyway, the thicker thread, and I know this is counterintuitive, but the thicker threads aren't as strong as your 50 weight threads. I know, it's strange, isn't it? So what I don't want you to do is do piecing with a quilting thread. I don't want you to sew bags together. I don't want you to sew clothes together with this quilting weight thread either, okay? Because it is not strong enough. So for sewing anything together, you need 50 weight. And for your quilting, start off with a 30 or 40 weight because you'll be able to see it on the top of your quilt. As you get more confident, you can experiment with some of the, the finer uh, threads. Thread, by the way, goes up to 100 weights, which is really fine. So if you find yourself in the future getting into miniature quilts, you probably probably need a 100 weight thread. So it just disappears into that seam. But for your standard piecing, now I've been quilting for ah, more years than I care to remember. I've never gone away from a 50 weight thread. So 50 weight for piecing, 30 or 40 weight for quilting to get yourself going. And as you build confidence, you'll start experimenting with other threads. I hope that has helped you. Have lots of fun, experiment with your quilting weight threads and let me know how you get on in the comments below. I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.